Welcome to Evening Prayer for Tuesday, the 4th of June, 2024. Let every Christian pray this day. God's love has been shed abroad in our hearts through the Holy Spirit he has given us. Let my prayers be set forth in your sight as incense, lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. Blessed be the Lord our God, by whose grace we are yet alive. Blessed be his Son, Jesus Christ, by whose rising we are set free. Blessed be the Spirit of God, in whom is our hope and our joy. Father, we come together in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Redeemer, to offer you our worship, praise, and thanksgiving. To you belong all power and glory. You are the source of all goodness. Let our worship bear witness to your peace and saving power. Through your spirit, may we ever rejoice in the abiding presence of our risen and ascended Lord. Amen. O gracious light, O gracious light, pure brightness in the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed. Now as we come to the setting of the sun and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. Lord, we pray to you for the forgiveness of our sins. Have mercy upon us, most merciful Father. In your compassion, forgive us our sins, known and unknown, things done and left undone. And so uphold us by your Spirit, that we may live and serve you in newness of life, to the honor and glory of your name, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Grant, merciful Lord, to your faithful people pardon and peace, that they may be cleansed from all their sins and serve you with a quiet mind, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. 
Our Psalms appointed for today, Psalm 47 and 48. Psalm 47. Clap your hands, all you peoples. Shout to God with a cry of joy. For the Lord most high is to be feared. He is the great king over all the earth. He subdues the people under us and the nations under our feet. He chooses our inheritance for us, the pride of Jacob, whom he loves. God has gone up with a shout, the Lord with the sound of the ram's horn. Sing praises to God, sing praises. Sing praises to our king, sing praises. For God is king of all the earth. Sing praises with all your skill. God reigns over the nations. God sits upon his holy throne. The nobles of the peoples have gathered together with the people of the God of Abraham. The rulers of the earth belong to God and he is highly exalted. Psalm 48. Great is the Lord and highly to be praised. In the city of our God is his holy hill. Beautiful and lofty, the joy of all the earth, is the hill of Zion, the very center of the world and the city of the great king. God is in her citadels. He is known to be her sure refuge. Behold, the kings of the earth assembled and marched forward together. They looked and were astounded. They retreated and fled in terror. Trembling seized them there. They righted like a woman in childbirth, like ships of the sea when the east wind shatters them. As we have heard, so we have seen in the city of the Lord of hosts, in the city of our God. God has established her forever. We have waited in silence on your loving kindness, O God, in the midst of your temple. Your praise, like your name, O God, reaches to the world's end. Your right hand is full of justice. Let Mount Zion be glad and the cities of Judah rejoice because of your judgments. Make the circuit of Zion walk round about her. Count the number of her towers. Consider well her bulwarks. Examine her strongholds that you may tell those who come after. This God is our God forever and ever. He shall be our guide forevermore. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. A reading from the Word of God, written in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 12, verses 1 to 12. These are the statutes and ordinances that you, ha you must diligently observe in the land of the Lord, the God of your ancestors has given you to occupy all the days that you live on the earth. You must demolish completely all the places where the nations whom you sh are about to dispose serve their gods, on the mountains, heights, on the hills, and under every leafy tree. Break down their altars, smash their pillars, burn their sacred poles with fire, and hew down the idols of their gods, and thus blot out their names from their places. You shall not worship the Lord your God in such ways, but you shall seek the place that the Lord your God will choose out of all your tribes as his habitation to put his name there. You shall go there. Bring there your burnt offerings and your sacrifices, your tithes and your donations, your votive gifts, your free will offerings, and the firstlings of your herds and flocks. And you shall eat there in the presence of the Lord your God. 
you and your household together, rejoicing in all the undertakings in which your Lord, your God, has blessed you. You shall not act as we are acting here today, all of us according to your own desires, for you have not come into the rest and possession that the Lord your God is giving you. When you cross over the Jordan and live in the land that the Lord your God is allotting to you, and when he gives you rest from your enemies all around so that you may live in safety, then you shall bring everything that I command you to the place that the Lord your God will choose as a dwelling for his name. Your burnt offerings and your sacrifices, your tithes and your donations, and all your choice of votive gifts that you vow to the Lord. And you shall rejoice before the Lord your God, you together with your sons and your daughters, your male and female slaves, and the Levites who reside in your towns, since they have no allotment or inheritance with you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Magnificat My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in you, O God my Saviour. For you have looked with favour on your lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. You, the Almighty, have done great things for me, and holy is your name. You have mercy on those who fear you. From generation to generation, you have shown strength with your arm and scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. You have filled the hungry with good things and the rich you have sent away empty. You have come to the help of your servant Israel, for you have remembered your promise of mercy, the promise made to our forebears, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. The second reading is taken from Paul's letter to the Galatians. Chapter 1, beginning at verse 18, on to chapter 2, ending at verse 10. Then after three years, I did go up to Jerusalem to visit Cephas and stayed with him 15 days. But I did not see any other apostle except James, the Lord's brother. In what I am writing to you before God, I do not lie. Then I went into the regions of Syria and Cilicia, and I was still unknown by sight to the churches of Judea that are in Christ. They only heard it said, the one who formerly was persecuting was now, as is now, in, now proclaiming the faith he once tried to destroy. And they glorified God because of me. Then after 14 years, I went up again to Jerusalem with Barnabas, taking Titus along with me. I went up in response to a revelation. Then I laid before them, though only in a private meeting with the acknowledged leaders, the gospel that I proclaim among the Gentiles in order to make sure that I was not running or had not run in vain. But even Titus, who was with me, was not compelled to be circumcised, though he was a Greek. But because of false believers secretly brought in, who slipped in to spy on the freedom we have in Christ Jesus, so that they might enslave us, we did not submit to them even for a moment, so that the truth of the gospel might always remain with you. And from those who were supposed to be acknowledged leaders, what they actually were makes no difference to me. God shows no partiality. Those leaders contributed nothing to me. On the contrary, 
When they saw that I had been entrusted with the gospel for the uncircumcised, just as Peter has been entrusted with the gospel for the circumcised, for he who worked through Peter, making him an apostle to, be circum to the circumcised, also worked through me and sending me to the Gentiles. And when James and Cephas and John, who were acknowledged pillars, recognized the grace that had been given to me, they gave to Barnabas and me the right hand of fellowship, agreeing that we should go to the Gentiles and they too, the circumcised. They asked only one thing, that we remember the poor, which was actually what I was eager to do. Here ends our reading. Thanks be to God. The Sound of Simeon Lord, now you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people, Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. The Apostles' Creed I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Lord, Reveal your love among us, that we may know the joy of your salvation. Grant peace within and among all nations, and teach our leaders wisdom. Endow your church with faithfulness, and her servants with knowledge and true godliness. Defend, O Lord, the rights of the poor and the oppressed, that your justice may be known among all people. Lord, renew your spirit within us, that in us, and through us, your will may be done. The collect for today, proper four. Lord God of the nations, you have revealed your will to all people and promised us your saving help. May we hear and do what you command that the darkness may be overcome by the power of your light through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. The Prayer of Dedication Almighty God, we thank you for the gift of your holy word. May it be a lantern to our feet, a light to our parts, and a strength to our lives. Take us and use us to love and serve all persons in the power of the Holy Spirit and in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us evermore. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.